In this video, I'm going to show you the concept of how you can set up a Roku VPN. That's a virtual private network that your Roku is connected to. Now, if you've got a Roku, you'll know it's a mini little streaming device that you can connect directly to TVs and screens, and it works brilliant. Um, I use it for things like Hulu, BBC iPlayer, ITV Player, stuff like that, um, and Netflix also. Now, uh, for many of us who watch a lot of online streaming stuff, you may have come across the problem that... Um, what you can watch is restricted to where, you, where you're actually based. So I'm a UK Roku user. I can't get access to things like Hulu, um, the American version of Netflix, and loads of stuff like that. And people in different countries have got the same issues connecting back to British stuff or uh, European. Uh, so the solution to that is to either set up a proxy or a VPN. And I'm going to look at a VPN server here. Now, how can you get your Roku to use a VPN? The VPN is a virtual private network. Now, the idea is if you set up a VPN to an American server, you can watch American content. And the same if you're in the US. If you set up a, UK, uh, a VPN to the UK or France, Germany, Australia, you can watch stuff that's normally restricted to all those countries. But how do you get a VPN to be used on a Roku? You can't get at the network sent settings properly. You can't install any VPN software. Uh, for me, if I want to use it on a computer, it's fine. I use I use a, a VPN software called um, Identity Cloaker. I use it on my laptops, my tablets, and stuff like that. Uh, and here's the PC version. So if I wanted to watch Hulu, um, see if I went to Hulu here and I try and watch it, I get blocked from this. Uh, if I set up my um, VPN and I connect through to an American server, I can I can watch it fine uh, on my PC or Mac or whatever. So I've got this account here, but of course I can't install Identity Cloaker's VPN software on the Roku. And I can't get at any proxy network settings either on there because it's kind of restricted. So what do I do? Well, the simple solution for a VPN on your Roku is to set it up on your router, okay? Now, I've got uh, an Asus router here, um, but they come that, that actually support um, VPN modes. So you'll have two settings here. Loads, loads of um, routers have got now um, these facility. <coughs> Basically, what you're looking for, VPN server and VPN client. This is the GUI for the, um, the, my Asus router. And what I've got here, what we're interested in um, is VPN client. VPN server is when you want, you want to connect into your router from a different location, from a remote one. We want the router to connect outwards to a VPN server, i.e. my identity cloaker VPN account. Okay, so I'll go to VPN client here. Now I've set one up here and I'll just add another profile just to show you how it works. Uh, I've got a... a a VPN connection here for US Netflix, but let me add one to a different um, a different service. Right, what do I need to do? Um, right, for Identity Cloaker here, uh, if you use another service, these might be slightly different. Um, Identity Cloaker can use any of these um, services, OpenVPN, L2TP, but L2TP is the easiest, okay? So I'm gonna set up uh, a UK VPN here. Um, what I'm gonna do is set up um, the name I get this from my my account with Identity Cloaker. That's right. And then I put in my username and account, which I'll sorry, obviously have to um, blur out here. And I don't want it to auto reconnect. And I click on OK. And now you can see that's all it takes to UK VPN. Now let's just have a think here what this does. When I enable any of these two um, VPNs on my router, every single device in my network, every phone, every smart TV, everything will go down this VPN tunnel, go down an encrypted tunnel via that server, okay? So essentially, I'm in the UK now, but if I enabled my US um VPN, which let me just connect now. When it's connected, every single device in my home network, every phone, every laptop will go down the, the US VPN. And so all my computers will be American servers. Can you see it's connected now? 
So I can watch any US content I want now. So I could watch Hulu or I could watch... Um, <coughs> I could watch the American version of Netflix. Anything like that will work simply, okay? You've got to remember the drawbacks are you won't be able to access UK stuff when you're on this. Um, now, you can set up a, a VPN for, for Identical Oco. If you With your subscription, you get Australian, Canadian, Swiss, German, French, Irish, Polish, and a load of others. You could have a whole lot of them set up here. Uh, I mainly use US and UK. Um, but I sometimes use Canadian and Australian too. So you can just connect them up there and use them when you want. And okay, so this means uh, your Roku is connected outward through your router. Your um, Roku is a, essentially an American Roku while this is connected. So it'll be able to access the US version of Netflix, for instance. Okay, and that's basically how you do it. You need to set it, set up the VPN client on your router. Now, there are the, the, those drawbacks I've uh, mentioned, that it does do it for everything on your network. So if you've got 10 people in your house or office, they're all going to go down um, that US VPN, which may or may not work out for you. Um, but for something like the Roku or um, uh, smart TVs, it works brilliantly. And when I just want to go back to my normal internet connection, I just disconnect. And then it goes back to normal. So... That's all there is to it. Um, I hope that's helped. Remember, this is a VPN client. When you're looking for a router that supports that, most of the decent modern routers support um, support this. But what you're looking for, let me just have a look. TP-Link here. This is another router. Mine's an Asus. But you're looking for something like this. PPTP, L2, 2TP, VPN server client. We need the client mode, okay? The server is connecting in, the client is connecting out, okay? And for accessing um, restricted content and stuff like that, YouTube, Netflix, and stuff like that, you need the client because you need the router to dial out to your uh, VPN service, okay? Uh, I don't know of any free VPN services available. Uh, there, there may be some. If somebody knows some, stick them in the comments and I'll publish them. Uh, generally, you've got to watch. They're not really... Um, things like that are not really trustworthy because it costs quite a lot to run a VPN service. If you want to use the one I do, Identicloaker works with all the routers I've tried and all the, the servers are VPN enabled. Um, so you can set up everything on your router there. Um, I've got, there should be a discount voucher appearing somewhere on this video. Um, and that's it. Well, I'm going to finish there. I hope that's explained. Okay, if you've got any questions, put them in the comments and I'll try and um, answer. Uh, and thank you very much for watching. Goodbye.